everybody, my name is Michelle and welcome to this new video. A little while ago I did a video all about the book series that I'm currently reading and there were quite a lot. But I think it's only suiting that I'm now doing a video about book series I am not going to finish because there are book series over the years that I have DNF'd. Series that I wasn't really a big fan of and that I have no intention whatsoever to continue with. I will say though it doesn't happen that often with me because usually I am quite committed to series and I do want to finish them all but there are a couple that I just cannot get myself to finish because I don't like them or because they are way too long or because I think they are boring or something. So series that I have DNF'd and that I'm not going to continue with and yeah it's also fun to talk about the book series that I didn't like all that much and that is what's going to happen in this video. So yeah I think it's time to get started and then I'm going to tell you all about the book series that I definitely will not be finishing. The first book on this list will come as no surprise to you if you have been around on my channel for a couple of years but one series and just one book in general that I really really do not like is the Stalking Jack the Ripper series by Carrie Maniscalco. So I have only read the first book Stalking Jack the Ripper and this is all about a girl named Audrey Rose Wattsward. This book takes place in Victorian England around the time of Jack the Ripper and Audrey Rose is a girl who likes to dissect bodies and she also fancies herself quite a detective and this book is about her trying to solve the mystery of who Jack the Ripper is. Emphasis on trying because in my opinion it's just this book is such a hot mess and that's why I have no intention whatsoever to continue with this series because there are like four more books in the series all about you know uh, historical settings and Audrey Rose being a detective but yeah Stalking Jack the Ripper I don't know where to begin to describe my hatred for this book it is so frustrating for a couple of reasons first of all it is the most predictable book Ever. And a bit of predictability on its own isn't that bad. I have read a lot of books that were quite predictable that I really did enjoy. But this one takes it to a whole new level. It is so blatantly obvious how this book is going to end and it's just... Uh. Yeah, I, I'm not really here for it because there's no tension whatsoever. But the worst thing about this book is Audrey Rose as a character itself because she's supposed to be feminist and progressive and all about women's rights. I say supposed to because like the idea of feminism of course is great but the execution in this book is horrible. It mainly consists of Audrey Rose being a girl from the 21st century but in a historical setting. She talks all about how unfair the world is and how she doesn't need men in her life and how yeah she wants to do whatever she wants and yeah it's just so annoying just telling us over and over and over how men are annoying and she doesn't need them and she's amazing on her own. Like we get it. I don't need 300 pages of that. But then also what I don't like about it is that Audrey Rose really looks down on basically everybody, mainly other women. She talks about other women that they are brainwashed and that they can't think for themselves and she really thinks she's better than them all and it's just oh I... I really hate to read about it because if a woman talks about liking a tea party or liking a dress then Audrey Rose is immediately well she's brainwashed it's not possible that she likes that just stop it stop it it's oh, horrible like I cannot oh my god it's just yeah it really frustrates me because it's not just like one tiny bit of the book the entire book is Audrey Rose thinking that she's amazing that she can do everything and everybody else is just horrible in her opinion and she's better than everybody else. So worst main character ever in my opinion. It's just I cannot stand it and that's why I'm not going to continue with this series. I just cannot stand other books with Audrey Rose as the main character. I have heard some people say that the other books are better but like this book is so horrible in my opinion that even better is probably not going to be all that great. And the only thing that matters to me is that Audrey Rose is also the main character in the other books and yeah I just don't want any other books with her in my life. Like oh. Definitely not. So that was quite a passionate rant about a book series but now let's move on to another one that I don't really hate but I still don't really want to finish it and that is the His Dark Materials series by Philip Pullman. I have read the first book Northern Lights and the second book The Subtle Knife but I have not read the last book The Amber Spyglass. And at this point I've decided that's just not going to happen. I'm not going to finish this series even though I really love the first book. Like I loved Northern Lights so much and then Subtle Knife was also enjoyable but 
already a lot less. And then I've heard that the Umber Spyglass is just the worst out of the series and it just doesn't really speak to me all that much. And for me, um, yeah, it's sort of a weird situation because I'm perfectly content with having read the Northern Lights and having enjoyed it, but I just don't really feel like finishing the series. I don't know, I feel like the world is getting a bit out of hand for my taste in like the later books or like the second book or whatever. Yeah, I just don't feel any interest, but also I don't want to unhaul the series because I love the first one so much and the cover is just gorgeous and yeah I don't know it's a bit of a weird one with this series but I'm not going to finish it I'm sorry then some other ones that will probably come as no surprise if you have been around on my channel for a little while but that is of course the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas I read the first two books of the series I think around three years ago when I just found out about booktube and I was reading all the hype books and yeah it just wasn't really my cup of tea I feel like Sarah J Maas is just not the writer for me I feel her stories are a bit too dramatic for me and over the top and I never really like the main characters. I can definitely see why a lot of people do love Sarah J Maas because she does have like these stories do have some addictive qualities but just not for me if that makes sense. And then of course also the Accord of Thorns and Roses series which I've read the first three books of but there's also a novella and there are going to be some other books in this series I believe. I'm not going to continue with those because yeah just Accord of Thorns and Roses also wasn't really my thing. With that one I was actually a lot more annoyed than with the Throne of Glass series. And that's mainly because I just really don't like Resand, which is one of the main characters in that series. I cannot stand him whatsoever. It's just, oh, he's so annoying to me. And I guess that's the main reason. And apart from that, still like the dramatic writing, the dramatic stories, the over-the-topness and um, yeah, also the not so subtle way in which you are being manipulated as a reader. Not my thing. It's just Sarah J Maas is not the writer for me. I've given it a try and yeah, it wasn't really working out for me. Also a book series I'm not going to finish is the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson. I've read the first two books which is Truly Devious and the Vanishing Stare? Oh my god, I have forgotten the name of the second book. Anyway, this is about a girl named Stevie who goes to a very prestigious uh, special school for talented people. But at this school, Ellingham Academy, there was a uh, yeah, sort of mystery 70 years ago and Stevie wants to solve it because she's all about true crime. The thing with this series is that I did enjoy like the first half of the first book because the premise is so interesting and especially the setting of this private school is so, yeah, something new, something different. But then after the first half of the first book, then there's a lot of nothing and books being dragged out. The second book is very much being dragged out and then like this series it has an interesting beginning and an interesting end and then a lot of nothing in the middle. But because the end is interesting you're sort of tricked into reading the next book even though this book series did not need to be a series at all. And I refuse to give in and read the third book and the final book even though I am sort of curious about the solving of the mystery. I just don't want to give in because I don't want to be tricked like that. Uh, it really makes me a bit angry because it's really not necessary. This is just a definite plot to sell more books which I can understand because of course every writer and every publisher wants to sell more books. But in this case I'm not going to do it. I just don't want to sit through another long book with basically nothing happening. Also I wasn't completely sold on all the characters. A lot of the friendships and relationships were like we were being told that there were friendships and relationships but you don't really get to see them and they don't really spend that much time together so I don't really buy it. There were a lot of things about this series that I did not like and I was quite disappointed by it because I feel like it's yeah the premise is still interesting and I would still like to know the end of the mystery but I'm just not going to do it. I refuse to give in to this book series that did not need to be a book series. Then next, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series by Douglas Adams. This is a bind up of like the first four books, three books, four books. I have read the first book, uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and it was definitely interesting. It's a very specific kind of humor, definitely very British somehow, I don't know, <laughs> but it is yeah, it is funny, it is interesting, it is very weird. But I'm not sure if it really was the kind of weird and funny for me. I did laugh a couple of times, but at other times I was just like, nah, maybe not. <laughs> I can understand why this book series is so popular, because I can see the appeal of the story and the humor. It's just not really my kind of taste. So I have this bind up and yeah, I have unhauled it, I just haven't 
had a chance to get rid of it yet. Uh, the first book was fine, but I just don't really feel like other, reading other books in the series, I guess. Uh, so it's not going to happen. And it's, yeah, I don't have any specific reasons for it, apart from that this book didn't really completely sit well with me. It's just not my type of book series. And then I have a duology, which of course still is a series, but it is a shorter one. And that is the Vicious Duology by V.E. Schwab. This was originally a standalone, but a next book in the series or like in the duology came out a couple of years later. And the next book is Vengeful. It's about two roommates who develop, um, yeah, sort of supernatural powers by accident. And then there's this vendetta between them. And yeah, there's the premise is definitely interesting. I read Vicious, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. It was okay, it was fine. I can see why like it was such a popular book because it is sort of like a very unique story. It is dark, it is, yeah, something different, I guess. But I have no interest whatsoever to read the second book. I just, this book didn't stand out to me enough to pick up the other one. I just didn't feel like it definitely needed another book in this duology. And overall, I'm just not like... V.E. Schwab is a bit of a weird author to me because I do really love the Darker Shade of Magic series. But apart from that, I haven't really enjoyed any of her books that much. So yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to read the Vengeful duology like next book thing. Also, I don't remember that much of uh, Vicious because I read it like also three years ago. It has been a while. It was fine, but not great. It was okay, but not perfect or anything. So I'm not going to read the next one. I'm also not going to finish the Crazy Rich Asian series by Kevin Kwan. You've probably heard about this, even though it's because of the movie. Um, Crazy Rich Asians is about a girl named Rachel who has a relationship with this handsome guy named Nick. And then they go to Singapore and she finds out that Nick is like the heir of this super rich family. And it's all about like crazy rich Asians and his family and lots and lots of money. <laughs> this book, um, yeah, it's just, I enjoyed it, but I found it a bit weirder and a bit less enjoyable than I had anticipated. There's definitely some humor, but for me, there were too many characters that we sort of switch to and we saw a lot a lot of different point of views it was a bit too much for me i would have liked it more if it were more centered around rachel instead of all the like all the little characters also get a chapter and everything that wasn't really my thing and with this one i just really preferred the movie because the movie is amazing i love that one so much but the series it was fine like it was sort of like a four star read it was enjoyable definitely funny but i don't think i'm going to read the next like two books. It's a trilogy, I believe. I don't really feel like it. I'm just going to wait for the next movies to come out. I believe they are being made. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's just, again, one of those book series that I'm like, nah, I'm just not going to continue with it. It isn't completely my thing, even though the premise was something that I was really into. And then the last book series for this video that I'm not going to finish is the Outlander series by Diane Gabaldon. Also a popular one, at least, uh, you know, from the TV show, which is very popular. It's about a woman named Claire who accidentally travels back into time uh, in the 18th century in Scotland. And she meets a handsome Scottish warrior named Jamie Fraser. And yeah, it's like very fun and interesting book or like it's not always fun but it is uh yeah it was definitely a book that i enjoyed at least the first one also like the second one i've also read the third one which i liked a bit less the thing is with this book series there are like eight books and they are all massive and even though i do really like the first book and the premise and everything i felt like after the third book or at already around the third book the story is getting so much out of hand and like it's getting so big and every time there's another problem that needs to be solved like it feels like there's no ending in sight and that was really not my thing because i do want book series to sort of have a goal that they are working towards and sort of like yeah i don't want them to be too long and with this series it just feels like you're going on this episodic journey and every time there's another thing that needs to be fixed and another problem that needs to be solved and something other dangerous going on it feels a bit tedious to me uh it just goes on too long and i don't have the patience for that and that's why i'm not going to finish this series i do own the fourth book which is what was it called i forgot the title of the fourth book but anyway i do own that one and maybe i'll read that one i'm not sure but i'm not going to read anything apart from that because this book series is just way too massive and i cannot 
read them all because I just don't have the patience for that and it's not going to happen. And that was it for book series that I'm not going to finish. Um, yeah, there are some popular ones on this list, also some maybe lesser popular ones, I don't know. And I'm not sure if this list is entirely complete, but you know, I've read so many books over the years that sometimes it's hard to keep track on what you're like, which series you're going to finish and which not. But for this video, I feel like it's plenty because it's already way too long. And yeah, that was it for this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, maybe go subscribe or give it a thumbs up or share it or whatever. I would always really appreciate that. Please let me know down in the comments a book series that you are definitely not going to finish. I would love to hear. And then hopefully I will see you again very soon in one of my next videos. And yeah, bye!